tell us about the first time you were invited to an ANC conference at uh, in London, uh, where Ruth First was speaking. While I was... And Ruth First was Joe Slovo's wife. Mm. Uh, the novelist Gillian Slovo uh, is their daughter. Uh. Okay, go. While I was in London, I spent a lot of time at Dylan's bookshop, which was not far away from the university. A residence. I spent a lot of time at the shelves which contain all the banned books. in South Africa. This made very insightful a reading. On my return to the residence, which was in Inchlick Street. I was in Zoom 44. I received a visit from a young South African white student by the name of Sue Worcester. She was very friendly. However, she spent a lot of time talking about the ANC and politics. At that time was Dulcie September in London? No. Where was Dulcie at that time? In South Africa. And how soon after that um, did she come to London, or had you already left London by I that time? Left London. Why don't you let me go on a bit? Okay, go on. Go on with the story. She invited me to a meeting of the ANC at the workers' hall not far from our residence. I was very curious. Because one of the main speakers was going to be Ruth First, the wife of Joe Slovo. The meeting was packed and 
actually gave a very insightful account of the role of Ferrolimo in the Mozambique struggle. It's important to know that she was subsequently killed by a letter bomb which was allegedly sent by the security police in, in South Africa. I was very excited, but at the same time, on my way outside the meeting, I met advocate L.B. Sachs, the well-known legal man which had defended comrades from the ANC over the years. He was very, very keen to impart to me more knowledge about the ANC and invited me to join him later after he had returned from his visit to South in 